Hey, welcome back to Tolan's Tactical Tales T3. On tonight's episode, it's nighttime now. It's January something or other. So, I think this is the second video we did one on the first. Uh, I'm not sure what episode. It's probably episode 11 or 12 of Self Defense Cooking, uh, where we talk about how not to cook food well or even properly at all. So tonight, a couple things I want to go with. There have been some comments, not in the section, but people know me and said, hey, do you have any actual cooking utensils? So we'll get to this in a second. I do I do have a lot of this um, cooking weapon, food weapons, food weapons, or cooking utensils. So I have those. I have a whole drawer full of those. That's for, and there's more in there. So those are concerned, I don't, you know, because last time I used like a plastic fork or something. That's because every single cooking, there's another box of them here. Right, like, I have a lot of those things, and I have new, new cool stuff. Some friends of mine said, hey, you need some food utensil things. I'm like, yeah, they were just all dirty in the sink. That's why you didn't see them. But I have that. I have the cooking, the straining thing, the whip. Uh, uh, whisk. Yeah, I know, right? That we got that. I have that. I have cast iron skillet. It's not clean right now, but that's okay. I have a pot for piss. No, pot for water. I got a nice one that I got at the. Ooh, it's got stuff in it. Don't look at that too closely. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. And then I have a non-stick, once again, super clean. I made eggs. It's not from the last time. Oh, wait, it might be from the last. It might be from the last time. I probably should clean that. You're right. You're not wrong. I don't know if that's, no, that's probably not from the last time we made eggs and avocados. I have this thing, which is designed to press meat when you're cooking it. I have this super cool one. And it's got lines so you can do barbecue, but on the inside, because I can't grill because it's Oregon and it's raining all the time. So that's kind of sucks. Of course, the oven. Uh, I've got this glass pan, and that's for tonight. So for tonight, what we're going to do is we're doing kind of a two-part thing. One, there's something in the oven that's cooking, and we'll get to see that. Probably done and probably not overdone because I'm trying to keep track of the time sort of behind me what you can't see is the the pressure hot machine insta I don't want to say the name but you know what I mean it sounds like caught anyway that's cooking with boneless skinless chicken breasts that are merit that are cooking in white wine I, didn't, I don't know that seemed like a good idea I thought it was fine we'll see what happens so that's cooking in there on the rice setting, because the last time I cooked it on meat for 40 minutes, it re really, it overdid, it overdid it. So we're gonna try to fix that this time and make a better timing on that. Now over here, I'll bring that so you can see it. This fluid sauce thing that you see is Italian dressing with green onions and regular onions in it and a little bit of wine. Not a lot, just a little bit. And what's going to happen is, I've already pre-cut all the pieces, so I cooked them in the Instapot. I'm going to take them, I said it, I'm going to take it out of there with a scooper, right? You know. And then I'm going to put it in here, sauce it around a little bit, and throw the whole thing in the oven and bake it. So we're going to see the end result of that. You know it worked out because you'll see me on the next video. That's how you know. There's a, it's a mystery. But in here, we also have the other pieces cooking, which is the other part of my dinner. It's not the best part because a little bit of carbs. I'm trying to watch carbs. Uh, as you can see, the apron is clean. I know. No extra charge. No extra charge for you. I did a whole, what do you call it? The washing thing. Washing machine. Laundry. Yeah, that stuff. So that's done. A little bit of a beverage tonight. Uh, it's low carb. Not that it matters or you care, but you know, right? So let's see how this works. I'm going to hit the quick release, unsteam it, wait for it, ready? There we go. While that's depressurizing, probably the right word, 
We'll get out what's in here. I should probably get a, I'll save these, all right? So I don't burn myself. I know, <laughs> I'm getting better. Oh, that is warmish. All right, preheated oven 350. We're taking these out and set them there. Let's see if I can show you that. So they're, I don't know if you can see that, hush puppies. Hopefully you can see what I'm showing you. You can't always tell. Hush puppies. Ah, that's hot. It's coming right through the heat gloves. I think that'd be better. Now, the ingredients for tonight. Onion, garlic, Italian dressing, and pepper, or I mean not peppers, um, scallions. I didn't have that to show you because I cut them all up and put them in there. Then we're going to take the, the chicken, the bone skin is chicken size that have been cooking in the wine. Take them out, put them in here, put that back in there, which is still preheated to 350. We'll cook that for about a half an hour and see how it turns out. And then I'll add some rice, some, you know, 90 second rice, and that'll be dinner. So I'll have some hush puppies, some 90 second rice, and then Italian chicken that's baked. And I really hope it turns out, because I am starving, you guys. I ate yesterday at like, I don't know, Seven or eight, six or seven at night, and it's now at seven o'clock. Got off work at five, waited an hour for everybody to get done, came racing home. Thought I'm gonna make a video because I haven't done one in a while. I got everything set up, I've been working on that. Seven o'clock, according to Chef Mike. Let's try one of these. It's probably hot. Okay, crispy, not bad, a little dry. I don't know. Probably should have deep fried them, but I don't have a way to do that. If you know a way to deep fry in the Instant Pot, now I do have the air fryer. Oh, I should have used the air fryer. You're right. You're right. You guys are always right. Okay, we'll finish that. One sec. Air fluid. Mm. Try not to talk with my mouthful. Try not to talk with my mouthful because that's super rude, which I just did again. I already showed you the kitchen, but those are some of them. Now we do have also some knives. There's a magnet here that holds my knives. Those are the knives I use. I do have also a small amount of extra backup knives. There. For different kinds of things, right? Is that all the knives? No, there's a few more over here, but that's most of them. All right, here we go. We're going to use this to scoop the chicken out and put it in the... Just, it'll be fine. Probably. No, it's going to be terrible. That's still pressure, so that's good. How are you guys doing? Enjoying the new year? 2023, exciting times. So far, pretty good. Enjoying myself. Making some videos. Hopefully these are fun. Like, share, subscribe. Well, I'll throw that in right now while we're stalling, right? Waiting for the pressure to release on the instant thing. Because I don't want to get overly... Yeah. That's good. What else? Stay out of trouble. Right? Stay out of trouble. Trying to maintain a good positive attitude, which is pretty good this year, right? I hope you guys are having a great year. Hopefully it's a fantastic year this year. 2023. Right? Yeah. Come with me on that. Positive. Onions, garlic. I didn't put butter in there. I really thought about put, putting butter in there. But I've already got a lot of ingredients. Because it's got Italian dressing, it's got onions, it's got scallions or green onions. Green, don't make it fancy. It's green onions. It's green onions. Oh, it's green onions. We'll add some rice. 90 seconds in the microwave. Oven's hot. Got our hot pot mittens ready to go. All this is going to be is transfer. Rinse it around in the sauce. Bake it in the oven. Probably should work, right? I don't see why it wouldn't work. And then you'll have a sauce when it's done. It'll be it'll be nice, and that should be a pretty good meal. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Right? I'm not gonna waste food, so that's important. These look okay, and they taste pretty good. I think that'll kind of combine well. We'll have a few of those. I might dip those in something. If you guys got ideas for what to put hush puppies in, let me know. And don't just say ranch. Everybody can say ranch. That's an easy one. Put in the comments on the bottom. Like, share, subscribe. We already said that part. 
the comment because I now know how to read comments and once again we have the new panoramic video. Hopefully you like it. I think it's better. But you'll let me know in the comments or maybe you won't. Also please let other people know about the channel because evidently we're getting a few people and that's awesome. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, this is almost done. Say it's on a release. We'll see if we can't get that open. But again, I gotta be safe. Baked stuff. Also got. Oh, I'll go over some other things again. I have a lot of this salt and pepper. Right? I got the uh, kind of you twist, and I got this Himal Himalayan salt and pepper. I got that. I have some other spices. Of course, we already know about the this stuff, right? I have some curry in here. I have. Should we have a little I'm just starting to think of adding stuff, and I should stop doing that because I'm not overcomplicated, right? You're right. I should not overcomplicate it. I got some other. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. We got some some kind of Mongolian barbecue stir fry. That looks good. I just buy these things at the store to look cool. Got some soup packages. I think that's the most. Uh, that's the cooking stuff. We got the frying pans. We got the big. I do have a big also um, pot to boil water, like spaghetti noodles in or pasta in. I don't eat a lot of pasta anymore, right? I'm trying not to try to shed some weight, so I don't do a lot of carbohydrates. I'm doing a lot of low carb stuff. Plus, I do OMAD one meal a day, intermittent fasting. That sounds fancy. It's not. It's not. I'm just lazy. If I hit the snooze button three times, get up at the very last minute, run through the water real quick, knock off the big chunks, put on the sauce, dress appropriately, pants most days. I know. I don't want your charge. Go off and do the work thing. Middle of day lunch. I don't have time for lunch. I get questions all the time, so I just don't eat lunch. I have coffee in the morning, race to work, work all day, end of day. I'm hungry. I come home, make one meal a day. That's not because I'm smart it's just because i'm lazy and not good at time management and if i was better i'd pre-cook some meal now you know better than that that's not how we do it's not how we do so we'll just we'll just take it i think it's done i heard it stop making noise so i'm gonna oh yeah now how's the safest way to do this well let's not worry about that we'll just clean up the mess later all right so everything looks like it's pretty well cooked it doesn't look pretty but it's cooked. So here we go. Just transfer it over. Uh, so this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cooked in the Instant Pot for about 10 minutes uh, with just white wine. That's all that's in there is white wine. Because that's what I had. And I couldn't find the chicken stock, otherwise, and it kind of sounds weird to cook chicken and chicken stock. I guess it makes, it's probably the same thing. It's probably fine. And now, I guess we've also made some chicken stock. All right, we're almost there. A couple more scoops of that. It's making a mess. I wasn't trying to make a mess, but that's why there's cleaning supplies. And I do try to keep the kitchen clean. I do clean everything before I wash my hands. You don't always see me do that in the videos, but I do wash my hands. I wash all the utensils. Right. Like tonight I use this knife to cut the chicken with and then I rinse it off. I'll have to put it in the dishwasher because it's got some residual right? chicken sauce. Ooh. Shing. Shing. I know. Okay, stop that. You're right. Let's finish this up. We're doing good. Almost there. I don't want to waste any. All right, I think, I think for the sake of video and for the sake of the fact that that's all there is, I'm gonna stir this around in here. All right, so that's going in there. And we'll get it good and mixed up. So we have the chick, ooh, it smells good. No idea how this is gonna turn out, but I'll let you know on the next one how it turns out. So, well, if I remember, I probably will. All right, all right so that's, Good, put that in the sink, put that in the sink, open up the hot box, all right, here we go, I'll give you a quick look so you can see how it turned out, 
That's the before cooking. We don't have an after. There's not a way to pause or edit the video. So one of these days I'll get better at that and we'll see if we can make it a more professional thing. But for now, hopefully you enjoyed the video today. You know, like I said, uh, just enjoy doing these and having a chat with you guys. If you have comments and things down below, put them down there. If you want to see something else, put them down there. We did the. If you haven't already watched the waiver video, make sure you watch the waiver video. And remember, this is not how to cook food safely, so don't do anything I do. Just entertainment purposes only. Thanks, and remember, be safe out there.